Okay, so Back in Black, maybe ACDC's most popular song ever. I've listened to this song thousands of times, and I've actually never played this in a band, so it was really fun to learn this. And playing it is is so much fun. It's so intense. I mean, this song doesn't let up for one second. Okay, you've got to really be on it. And even though the you know E D A G the B in there, right? Even though the chords are simple, to play this thing with feel and to get the timing right, it's not as easy as it looks. Honestly, it's tough, and you got to really focus. You know, I hear a lot of guys play this, and they're ahead of the beat, okay? Their meter is kind of, you know, this is the one thing about ACDC, is these guys are like surgical with their meter. They're like right on the money, you know? They're never ahead, they're like right on it. So that'll be the trick if you're playing this in a band, is to get it really tight, right? Well, of course, a lot of that will depend upon your drummer. And Phil Rudd, you know, he's like the human metronome, right? Great, great drummer. Anyway, so we're in the key of E, so we're just going to start with E, and we're just going to hit the first three strings, basically, okay? And But you still want to fret it like a normal E chord, you know, because a lot, a lot of times I'll want to do that, and that's fine if you're really accurate, but, you know, if you hit that suspended fourth, it's, it's a nightmare, right? It's, it's over, basically, right there before it begins, because that sounds horrible, right? So... Try and fret it the proper way. And so it's E, first three strings. And ACDC, they really hammer their guitars, okay? So the harder you can hit these strings, the better it's going to sound. Okay, you don't want to be timid at, in any way when you play this stuff. you got to really hammer it, okay? So we're here. And then we got a D. Down, up, down. And that note really isn't in there, but if you hit it, it won't matter. That's the prominent note, like that's like the A C D C D is most of the time like that without that third. But if you put that in there, it's not gonna matter. And again, you want to really hit it hard, right? You don't want to go. You gotta go. Okay, really hit it hard. So then we got A. And there, we, we don't want that third in there either. But if you hit it. It's not the end of the world, right? But try not to. Try and just power chord. So, same stroke, down, up, down, right? And then we've got the lick. Okay, and what that is, it's just you're just going down the pentatonic scale there, right? And you're just going two groups of four. So you're going one, two, three, four, right? And then and then the chord, right? One, two, three, four. I bend it that way, and but you can bend it that way, right? So it's E3, open, B3, open. A quarter step bend on G2, right? And a pull up. So these are picked. All four picked. And then just the first one that was picked. I found that when I when I bent that way, for some reason I would, you know, kind of get that B string in there. You know. And I pulled off, right? But so I find if I pull out that way, I can I can just do it cleanly. Okay, that's just me, you know. Like this is one of the things when you're a guitar player, you got to do what works for you, right? Even though other guys might do it different, um, if you can't get results doing it that way, do it your way. Okay, and then we're and then we're here, and then we've got this lick. Okay, and that's just, everything's bouncing off that B note on A2 uh, to E4, right? E5, E6, E7, slide down. Okay, so it's very staccato. It's not... 
right? You don't want to do that. There, when you hit that, I hit the E like that there, because I don't have time. I suppose you could. You know, you could do it that way, and that's always preferable, like I said. There, I cheat a bit. I do it there because it's easier for me. Um, and like I say, don't hit that, because then it's all over if you hit that, right? It sounds awful. That's basically the main two parts. And then we get into that little, I guess it would be the bridge. Okay, and I like to fret those just with my little finger on that B. So we've got A, E, B, A, B. So, all downstrokes, right? twice. Then I'm going to go to G, D, right? And, you know, you want to try and get that high G in there, okay? A lot of times in AC, you will just do a G like that without the, the high G in it, but here you definitely want that, so. G, D, A. Okay, and when you hit that G, definitely want to focus on those last three strings. I mean, you want to hit the whole chord, but you want those three to ring out. And then we do the lick. And when you hit that G on the lick, you want to mute the chord. So you want to go... Right? You don't want to go... You don't want that chord ringing there. You want a clean... G note that's and you kind of hook it a bit right and when you hit that D if you hit the open A no problem okay and then we just repeat now you could play the B like that But I always like to try and get those, do those kind of bar chords, is to try and get them with the same finger. Because it really can help with um, your intonation issues and tuning things. You know? Like if you're kind of doing them separate, unless you're really, really accurate. I'll go over this in another one of my videos, I can't remember, but you can wind up bending it, you know. But if you're with one finger, you don't have that issue and it, it just sounds perfect. Okay, and then the last time, we go on the G, right? So it's down, up, down. Uh, right? Down, up, down, up, down, down. I mean, it really doesn't matter what way you strum it. But to me, that sounds the best. Okay, and then... And then it's kind of just open. Right, just the D, G, and B string to, to allow you to get to the D. Right? And then you play the D. And if you, again, if you hit the A, totally good, right? So that's that's most part of the song, and then uh, we get into the solo section, and the solo section goes like this. Okay, and I see a lot of guys going like this, putting that high A in there, uh, which it'll work, okay, but it isn't that. That note's not in there. If you have that note in there, it's an A, right? So that's like, be like, it's like A suspended or E suspended, E7 sus, right? But I don't hear that A in there at all. All I hear is this. Just, just E7, okay? You got the D note there on A5 and the E note on D2. So you got E, D, and E. And then you just bring your finger down one. So. Just 
just kind of a gallop on the E. And then we do it again. And then we're going to go E, A. And that does it a bunch of times while, while Angus is doing the solo. And then, the last time, so we go... Okay, he, they, they hold them, so... Just let it ring. Okay, and then there's that little rest in between the two parts. And we're back into that bridge section, okay? Okay, so, so far so good. There's really only one other part to learn, and that's that break. And this is definitely the hardest part of the song, because there's some killer stretching going on, okay? And this look is pretty well exactly the same for both guys, except there's only one note that's different, okay? This would be Angus's part. So, how that works is it's going to start on that open E. And then we're going to slide down from A5 to A4. And you can use your little finger or your third finger there. I use my little most of the time. So it's just just pull-offs, right? Slide and a pull-off. And then back up to A4. And that's plucked. And then we're here on E3 with the bend. Now we're gonna go up. We're going to bounce all that off of this B note on A2, so. Okay, so the first note is here on E5. And he puts vibrato on that, right? We've got the hook on that one, right? And then we vibrato that one. Back to the B. And then we're just going to go. Okay, and that last one will slide down real slow. And there doesn't seem to be any vibrato on these last two. Okay, just that one, just the A note. Slide that down really slow again. Now that's quite a stretch there, okay? And if you're not used to stretching, um, this is going to be a really, really hard lick to play for most guys. And I see a lot of guys doing it with slides. And I actually, I think I've seen a couple of videos of. ACDC uh, and they're doing that too okay I don't know I mean you can do that if you want like I said earlier right do it whatever way you want but on the record they're not sliding okay there's no sliding going on except the last one and don't forget the opening note like the lick doesn't start Okay, there's the E that starts the lick, right? And then it just hops up a string, does the exact same thing. And then we're back. back into that part and then Malcolm's part there is virtually identical and instead of like where Angus will go where he pulls off to that B Malcolm is gonna hit that open E so Angus Malcolm so you get those those two quick E strings in there and if you really listen you'll hear that 
Um, left channel is usually where Malcolm's part is. Okay, so Angus, Malcolm. And then it's exactly the same. Move up the string. Same thing. Back down. And there. You try and mute those, right? You know, that's a good thing. A little breakdown there to maybe. Do your little finger, ring finger, doesn't matter. But you want to keep it tight. Okay, and that's the only difference there. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Okay, and just before I wrap this up, like I was talking about stretching there. Um, what you want to do when you're stretching is, and I mean, most of you guys already know this, but I'll, for the guys that don't, I'll just bring it up. Like, don't just keep your wrist where it is and try and try and stretch, right? Like, you've got to move your arm. Like, you got to get your wrist like right over the top with your arm almost like parallel to the neck, right? So most of the time we're here. When we do those stretches, we wanna we wanna bring our wrist right around. Okay? Because it's it's all really about your wrist, right? Stretching. So when we go and you see I'm my wrist is just way up here and my arm is way up, right? Okay, so, you know, keep that in mind when you're doing those legs. Even that one. Because at one point you're here. Right, right there, you know, you can let go of that note and just cheat up a little bit, right? And just go back down to it, right? Just cheating a little bit. And the last one, you know, you can let go entirely and just, just come up to that note, right? Right? Okay. Anyways, great song. And like I said earlier, really relatively simple when you look at it, you know. Oh, yeah. E, D, A, G. What's the big deal, right? But um, the timing and the intensity of, of, the, of all those licks strung together with really no rests, you know. It's like you just got to pound it out. And then uh, the licks, right? The stretching will, um, that'll, that'll probably, uh, that'll be the toughest part for most guys. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this. It's a really a gas to play this song. It was really a lot of fun uh, making the demo of it. Just, just great. Really, really tight, punchy, punchy stuff to play. Anyways, all right, I'll talk to you next time.